Hello, Monsters Abound here. Welcome back to Total War Warhammer 2 and Mortal Empires and Part 17 of my Wood Elf campaign. Belagar declared war on us, joining in with everyone else, joining in with the cool kids. What a dick. Uh, and he's joined by his spoopy ghosts, who are kind of like the, the ghosts from Star Wars. If if the ghosts from Star Wars actually did stuff. Because these ghosts are getting stuck in against the dry, the god-awful dryer. I need to replace the dryers. The dryers are awful. Uh, it's an ambush battle, so it's going to be pretty quick. Uh, so the Dryad's hacking away at the Dwarf Warriors. We've got Durthu and his Wargrove. Just smashing through the Bugman Rangers. Uh, Bugman's Rangers were the first unit of Warhammer uh, miniatures I ever bought. Got the, the, the Bugman and he got his Banner Bearer. And the guy, it was a champion with like a peg leg and a, and a patch. That set. That was good. Uh, so Durthu's... Kicking, kicking heads in. Our archers are firing on the rear of these dwarves. You can see these miners taking a lot of damage. Although, considering they're so armoured, like even these miners have 80 armour. And these Bugman Rangers have 85 armour and shields. So it takes a lot of concentrated missile fire to take them down. Fortunately, we've got a lot of concentrated missile fire. Uh... Herrero is coming in with his units. We've got some wild riders. And we've also got... This is a legendary unit. Uh, so the Spears of Orion. They're actually quite a lot slower. They're only 105 speed compared to the, the wild riders. 112. And uh, 7, 5, 20. To, yeah, they've got about half the health as well. Not sure they're worth it. Might get rid of them. So they're going to come charging in. Help clear up some... I mean, we've basically done all the hard work. Wild riders coming in to steal all the glory. What a bunch of dicks. So that's one little army dealt with, although there is another one. So we're going to have to kill that too. That's a small bunch of sneaky dwarves killed along with a bunch of ghosts. I ain't afraid of no ghosts. Oh, we've got some armour. Helm of Discord. That's actually... Quite a nice one to have. Good. And I think we'll probably... I'll, I'll release the captives. I'm nice like that. Now what I do need to do is replace some of these dryads because they are god-awful against dwarves. Not only are they just rubbish in general, but their magical attacks... Obviously dwarves are magically resistant, so that's not ideal. It looks like this army of dwarves over here is in a little bit of trouble. They marched, which means they can't retreat. Oh, hello. Oh. Oh, dear. That, that's a lot of... That's a lot of that's a lot of humans and dwarves. Uh, so, Durth has got King Hammer. The true king lies defeated, but we will return, spitting oaths and even grumpier than before. So that's uh, leadership and melee attack during subterranean intercept battles. That is not that useful. Uh, war declared. Erin Grad against the monk. And Erin Grad against the Akhol. Interesting. Wait, last... Wait, 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 hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on. Eringrad have nine settlements. I mean, if they're up here somewhere... Because the Mung and Akhol spawn... They, they sort of appear over here, near Malekith. I should, maybe I should go and see Malekith, see if I can make friends with him. Although, no, my luck, he'd probably end up declaring war on me. But, you know, it could be worth a shot. Uh, there's a lot of humans down here. I will not do as you ask. It's a bit rude. They have a lot of archers. A lot of missile units. Not much in the way of anything else. You what? Not possible. The lady would never allow it. I reckon 
We can take. Wait, who's. I don't care for this order. Elspeth von Draken. Isn't she the. the special. Yeah, she's the. She's a special character from. Is it Nullen? She rides like a shadow dragon or something. These are dark times. Okay, well, uh, Blackie has got a skill point. I think we're going to put that in. I think I think she'll do the forest more armor. That's his sort of bag, isn't it? Lots of armor. And Dirth, who's got a skill point as well. He is level nine. Um, what do I fancy here? I'm tempted to just go more melee attack because he really struggles at hitting things. Mind you, that will just... I mean, this gives him th this gives him up to 12. 4, 6, 8. 3, 7, 12. So, in fact, the first rank of the Forest Roar is better than getting Tempered Rigor. So let's do that, because that just buffs everyone and us. And Valnal and Skellybobs, you can have uh, the Tempered Rigor, because that's going to help you. Um. Uh, Deatok, you are going to have uh, the Penondral Pendulum. Now, Never. do we attack these guys? No. What you ask well, I mean, you're me. saying no. I'm thinking yes. No time for this. You've marched a lot. Oh, you've got missile resistance. Trenches. Ugh. Impossible. Well, that's not very nice, is it? It's not an awful lot. Master. And Orion is a little bit far away to help. Um, I think what we will do is come over and help Carcassonne over here. If we go like over there, I think we can catch him next turn. And then we can encamp and get some replenishment. So that would be pretty good. And I'm, I'm quite tempted to maybe just have a pop at... Is there anyone we can pick off? Probably not. We might be able to wound, at like assault their units. Let's get specialist. Who's got probably the dwarves? Let's try assaulting the dwarves. Fifty-five percent chance. Success. Nice. Yeah, that that army is looking quite damaged now. I think we should probably go for it. Let's attack Castlian Engineer Albert Ludenhoff because then every other army will have to come in as reinforcements. Okay, so we've got several armies coming in as reinforcements, including Elspeth von Draken, who is the legendary Lord of Nullen, I think. No, it's Wissenberg, isn't it? Because obviously they are Wissenland. Yeah, it's Wissenland. It's Wissenland Nullen? can't remember. I don't think so. I could be wrong though. Um, Alter resolve wise, this looks very much in our favour. So uh, I'm hoping this should be a bit of a slaughter. But then it often is in my favour and doesn't turn out that way. But uh, let's see how it goes. Unfortunately for them, this army of Belagar, although of course Belagar is, is currently dead. Um, this army, did we kill Belagar last time? Was Belagar leading army? I can't actually remember. Doesn't matter. Uh, this army, however, is is coming as reinforcements. The the Empire forces are currently over at the back there, which means we can concentrate on wiping out these dwarves. They do have quite a few Bugman's Rangers. But that's not going to help them. We've got a lot of wild riders. The Spears of Ryan seem to be taking a lot of fire and also don't have much health. So that's the thing. Going to get a nice little charge off there. The left flank of the dwarves. Wild rangers coming in to assist as well. They are, I think they're armor piercing. Mm, no, they don't actually have armor piercing. Do they not? Are we sure? Is that a thing? They've got 26 armor piercing. That's quite a lot of armor piercing. I mean, not necessarily against the dwarves who have crap tons of armor, but still it's something. Getting stuck in there. Durthu is coming to assist as well. Missile fire. 
Got a bit. Is this a pendulum? Yeah, there goes a pendulum. Of course, they are have magic resistance, but it, it still looks like it's done a fair chunk of damage. And the Bugman Rangers getting just riddled with arrow fire. We've managed to break through their flank on the left. Now careering into their lines. These dwarves not going to last very long. I think this army has marched, so I think that'll wipe it out. Not 100% sure. Lots of dead dwarves lying in amongst our arrows. Our spent arrows. And here comes Dirthy's Horde. Dirthy's Horde not to really do much. They're just concentrating on killing some Bugman's Rangers. There are a lot of Dryads here. They'll probably need all these Dryads to kill a handful of those dwarves because Dryads are fucking awful. So, so far so good. As we can see, the Empire Army off in the distance here is slowly moving up. They do have uh, quite a lot of missile units. And a fair chunk of pikemen, I think. Pikemen and spears. Nothing too much. As you can see, the dwarf army is, is broken and is running from the field. What's left of it? Lots of them dead. There's a big old skull there. Classic Warhammer. Skulls everywhere. Now, we need to take out these mortars because mortars are nasty. So in come the moon wings. And they're going to be our little artillery snipers. They're going to be heading around the rear of the enemy line. They have four mortars. Four mortars. That's that's not very that's not very nice, is it? That's too many mortars. Need to get rid of some of those mortars. Those mortars need to die. Which is just what the movement's going to do. The rest of our army currently moving up into a formation so we can march on the enemy line. We're going to drop a... Uh, is it... Was it Thingy of the Wild? I forget what it's called. Uh, Dwellers Below, that's it. So that's going to basically... These little viney things come out of the ground and they just start smacking everything around them. So that's already done some damage to the mortars. Already a few of them looking a little bit ropey. That's good. And the moon wings coming in behind. Looks like we're mostly being ignored by the enemy army. Other than a, a spirit leech from their general, who is Elspeth. Oh, El 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 Elspeth von Draken. Von Draken. Does that mean I I haven't read much lore about Elspeth von Draken? Is she the sis? Is she like the sister of Isabella? Is that how that works? Is she, is she related to Isabella somehow? That'd be awkward. Um, moon wings. Opening up on the mortars, taking a little bit of mortar fire. We're going to try and dodge it, but frankly, I've got better things to do than try and micro wound a bunch of uh, parrots. So we're going to do another dwellers below here. That's going to cause a nice little... I mean, it would be better probably more on the infantry, but uh, mortars are a problem. Although, to be honest, you know, the, the moon wings are keeping them busy. That's really... that's the main thing. Meanwhile, the army is moving up, and we are now in range, so we can open fire. And they've got a lot of squishy humans. You know how much I like to squish humans because they are so squishy. Especially when they don't have shields. And a lot of these guys don't. They're like dwarves, but they die 20 times easier. So we've hit them all across the front line. Archers behind. Currently not really doing very much. I think that I think the AI sometimes doesn't quite know how to fire. It picks a unit, and if it can't see it, it just sits there twiddling its thumbs rather than go, mm, maybe I'll pick a different unit. There's Durthu getting stuck in. Looks like we're winning everywhere. Not a massive surprise. Wild Rangers have. Jesus, that was, uh, that was a blast from Durthu. Whale of Lament or something? Lament's uh, 65 kills. He managed to completely wipe out several units. And I think maybe some elves as well. But I, I'm not sure he really cares too much about that. It does mean we've managed to break the enemy left flank. Uh, meanwhile, the Wild Riders are chasing down some of these free company militia. Spears of Orion there. Um, I've decided they're pretty much garbage. I might get rid of them. Meanwhile, the Wild Riders doing a little bit better. Chasing down those hand gunners and basically herding the, the enemy missile units far away from their infantry. 
The moon wings have, I think, managed to deal with most of the mortars. I think we just need to finish off these couple here. Yeah, they're going down as well. So that's looking pretty good. The wild riders keeping away from the enemy spear infantry and running down their crossbows. As we can see, the enemy infantry has completely just broken apart. And the archer's now free to just riddle with them with fire. So it's hunting season, boys, and it's the, it's the most dangerous game of all. Man! Well, I, man isn't actually that much of a dangerous target. To be honest, if it was dwarves, that would be proper. Archaon. Archaon would probably be more, the most dangerous game of all. Mostly because he doesn't die and he fights back, which is cheating, I think. Well, unfortunately, you gave us an inch and we took a mile. Just arrow fire coming from every direction, cutting them all down. There's Elspeth von Draken. She's currently having a staring competition with a bunch of dryads. And she's just like, she's lost that. She's now routing. Off she goes. She's disappearing. Looks like one of their, the Arch Lecter is currently surrounded by the Spears of Orion and Wild Riders. So he's going to die. And I'm not sure many units are going to actually get away. It's looking pretty good. Unfortunately, a unit who... Well, I mean, okay, lots of units disappear off here. Though a lot of them, pretty dead. Uh, it looks like Elspeth is going to get away. Some half-hearted missile fire. I mean, she does have some arrows sticking out of her. One in her wrist there. That's that's not good. Maybe you should drop your your giant scythe, dear. That looks like it's quite a big, quite a big scythe. That's a lot of arrow fire coming in there. Finally, can she outrun the arrows? That's the question. I mean, the fact that she's got several stuck in the back of her head suggests no. Or will she get away? It's not looking good. It is, it's not, it's not looking. There's a lot of arrows coming in. Oh, that's, that's quite a few arrows. It's quite a few in her back. Looks like the arch, the other arch is getting away. Is that the same one? I'm not sure. I'm just worried about Elspeth. Elspeth, are you, you got quite a few, is that, is that, does that hurt? Does that sting? Well, those missed. Those didn't. No, she's dead. She is dead. She's dead. Now we're fighting back. That should be three enemy stacks destroyed, I think. Uh, we could release the captives. We're not going to get much money for it, so I'll just kill them. We did get a banner of swiftness, though, so that's quite nice. I think we'll put that on the uh, Spears of Orion. I'm fairly sure those armies marched, but uh, okay. Oh no, they were they were entrenched, weren't they? Okay, that's fine. We've killed quite a few dwarves now. Really? Really? I mean, the problem is because they're all allied to each other. They they hate me because I'm at war with their friends because. They all declare war on me at the same time, so I don't really think I'm going to be able to dig myself out of... I mean, make, making peace with them is probably not going to happen. However, what I might do is... Have we got an agent somewhere? Uh, we do have... Or, or Yeah, you, you. You, you're going to do some sailing for me. You're going to go and find Malekith. Just explain what's going on. And tell him that we will totally give in to evil if he backs us up. I mean, why not, right? I mean, may as well. We do have five ammo. How much ammo do we need to upgrade to the next 20? 20? 20? Bloody hell. Okay, can we chase down these armies? Is that a sensible thing to do? There are still a couple hanging around. Let's pull back for the moment. And I think what I'm going to do 
is Durthu is going to disband these units. And we are going to get some I mean, money. What? Yeah, I think we're just going to grab some Eternal Guard. Eternal Guard, way better than Dryads. Dryads are absolute shite. Not worth it. Catra, you have uh, yeah, block block army. Uh, yep, yeah, have another block army. Just block block armies. Just that's what you, that's what your job is. And uh, Aseret, you can you can replace or the Ruth um, because she's going to go off to uh, to visit Malekith. That's her job. Everyone's got a job. Everyone remember their jobs. All hail colonels. All hail colonels. Now, one of the slight problems is that uh, while we have seen several stacks of Empire get killed, so far we've not seen any Dwarf, that's our Kazakarak armies, and they are strength rank 2. So there's a whole bunch of Dwarves somewhere. Oh, more Wissenland forces. Oh, have you, have you attacked Paravon? We're going to try and make friends with Tyrion. I'm going to try and back Tyrion up and see if we can get him to conquer the entire, the whole of Ulthuan. If he can do that, then I'm hoping, because obviously he likes us he might help us in our wars that's what I'm, I'm holding out for in fact what I'm holding out for is a big elf loving where the dark elves and high elves and wood elves all hold hands and kill all the dwarves and humans it's a slight departure from from classic Warhammer lore but I think it could be an interesting one Okay, Dodon's back, that's nice to know, and you are going to continue your merry little journey, hopefully not get assassinated. Sweet leaf, the munchies, munchiness. You've got a skill point, we're going to pop that in. Ooh, regrowth, yes. Okay, you've broken off your siege so you can run away. What about if we lay an ambush for you? Onward! How about we do that? Might be able to sneak up on you. Might be a good thing. Durfu, you're recruiting some Eternal Guard. Do I need to deep... I don't really need to deep with scouts, to be honest. They're not really... Well, are they? They can fire on the move. My watches are twice as expensive, so probably not going to get them. We could go for the Glade Guard. They're not much more expensive, though, so... I think that's probably okay. Uh, let's... Let's just... Full Eternal Guard. We might go and get more Treekin, although they do cost Amber. And we don't really have any Amber at the moment. Uh, Tyrion. I, am Tyrion champion I, of the I, I know you're Tyrion. Hello. Um, I would love to be your military ally. I would also love it. I would absolutely over the moon... If uh, you give me all your amber, that would be grand. You're still at war with quite a few people, aren't you? So that's... I mean, we could... Well, okay, what do you like? It's going up to... We do have treaties with Trace. That is true. But we did give you a lot of money, so that should be counting for something. Um... Can I offer assistance? The Phoenix Court awaits your plea with interest. Okay, let's have let's have like, let's have a look at attitudes. Let's get people that like me. Cast Casson like me, and we can get a trade agreement, which we're going to do. I could ask them for money, but I don't see the point. 
So we'll do that. Uh, the Skull Takers quite like me as well for some... Oh, it's because I'm at war with everyone they don't like, which is fair enough. A military alliance. I mean, you're not going to give me any amber. Is that worth it for me? Screw it, why not? Oh, they are, oh, hello. Hello, what's going on down here then? Okay, so there's the Skull Takers with their one army. Uh, it's not looking great, is it? Is it, guys? Is it? So you're currently sat next to uh, Argul Migdal and doing not a lot. Oh, what? Amber's... Oh, no, Winter's in two turns. That's not good. Okay, let's go back to Diplomacy. Lothurn like us. Uh, Ka oh, the Warherd of the One-Eye actually quite likes us, but we can't do anything with let's them. Uh, Nagrathai, you quite like me, but not enough. Tyrannoch. Border Low actually quite likes me. The lady grants you safe passage in these lands. You're at war with Bretonia. Dark are these times, and dark my mood. But you really like us. I mean, look at that. I mean, all right, admittedly, most of the people you're at war with are because of me, but still. I think that's fine. I'm hoping that they'll come down and settle Castle Carcass on again, which accidentally burned down to the ground. We don't know what happened there, uh, but that was a bit of a mystery. Probably, probably never be solved. That's just one of those things, isn't it? Sometimes, sometimes, uh, capital, province capitals just just happen to burn down to the ground, inexplicably. Who knows what goes on? Uh, army. I think Irario's force is fine. I would like more dragons. Dragons are quite expensive. They're 525 each. Which is a little bit pricey. Dodon, you can be a specialist, so you can assault some armies for me. Uh, we're actually looking pretty good down it. Once I've got these units, we could attack Grimhold. We could burn it down. It's a big two finger salute to the dwarves. Ooh. Iron Breakers. I don't like that. Uh, Mustering Hall. Where are you getting Iron Breakers from? You can't recruit them, can you? Unlocked recruitment, long beards. You can't. Right, okay, Grimhold. Rangers, long beards. How have you. Did you just magic one up, did you? Okay, well, as long as you don't, like, start recruiting stacks of sodding iron breakers. 128 armor, 84 melee defense! Jesus Christ! I'm not even sure how I'd get through that. Um, what do I want here? Do I want anything? Or am I just kind of happy with what I've got? Um, I'm not too bothered to be honest. Upgrading that, then we can get another one of the the uh, temples. I think we've got two temples of Aisha. Uh, okay, okay, campaign. Okay, we've got two for campaign movement range, so that's an increase of ten, and then replenishment plus ten percent as well. So I think that's pretty good. I'm kind of happy with that. Um, you guys, I think, can you just ambush? Just do a little ambush. Can we assassinate some of these guys because they're being a right pain in the ass? Thirty-seven percent chance. Good job. Yep, we're gonna do more assassinations because that's fun. And Catra, can you assassinate this guy? 18% chance. Failure, but you didn't die. So that's a win for me. I'll take that. More Empire armies heading southward. Oh, Catra was assassinated by a ghost.
There's a lot of enemy armies wandering around. Ooh, it's a famed chantress at war with Carcassonne. Interesting. I didn't think they were. Must have missed it. If they are at war, then I might be able to help them expand their territory. It would mean declaring war on another faction. But I'm at war with so many. What does one more? I mean, one more? Does it really matter? Probably not. Goodness me, there's a lot of uh, battle markers hanging around. Jeez. It's like five in one spot. Okay, Catra's been wounded. Bretonia and Artois have confederated. We've got a mother's love. So that's upkeep minus seven for all tree, animal, and beast units, which will reduce the upkeep of our dragons, which is going to only be a good thing. Oh, we've got a mission. Who is Rorik Granite Hand? Do you take me for a that guy, apparently. Could potentially try and kill him. How much are our dragons cost now? 469. That's a big chunk off. And uh, look, there's a Leonessi army. Rather, rather stupidly. Hasn't run away. Um, I'm just, I mean, as much fun as it would be to watch Gold Squadron incinerate a lot of them, I'm just going to water resolve this because it would be painfully easy. Uh, let's kill them. And maybe, I mean, bow before the rightful lords of the realm, and I will hear your demands. Alberic, you may be the most boring of the legendary lords, but how about a non-aggression pact? Oh, really? Non-aggression, come on. Never. How about some money? I will not. Really? Come on. You know I'm good for it. Probably. Maybe I don't want another uh, another enemy just yet. I mean, it is almost winter. Dido's going to get immortality, so he doesn't die. And I'm going to grab... Speed, I guess. May as well make him a little bit more speedy. All right. I am the heir of Anarian. How about military alliance? Understood. Thank you. I'll take that. And a lot more amber. Okay, let's see what's going on. Allow me. I mean, it looks like you're. Defender of the Phoenix Throne. It does look like you're winning. Kind of. But um I'll take that. I will hear your words, but I make no promises of aid. Now it would be nice if we could get Ooh, actually. I mean If I go and settle Castle Carcassonne and go and take Bill Bailey Then technically I would have a port and be able to trade with them. Hmm. Well, it looks like Teclis is dead. And it also looks like I can assume that these guys don't like me. I can tell. You come thinking to bargain, but I have already won. Have you? Oh, I'm terribly sorry. I didn't realise I didn't realise I was talking to a winner. Okay, well with that in mind. I don't I have many excellent 
torture device. Yeah, you you do not like me, do you? You've got an aversion of sixty, which is probably I'm gonna I'm gonna assume Malekith has got the same, in which case we're probably not gonna be able to make friends with him, but um That that should be fine. Let's uh what could we give you Specialist is just a nice general one to have. So Nagrathai. Okay, we're going up to sixty-eight. That's good. We've also got treaties with Lothurn. Okay, and we've got some armor to play around with. Now that is very nice. And what I might oh we got two Empire armies heading south. What have we got here? Uh, Witch Hunters, Mortars, Reichsguard. I mean, it's pretty much your classic Empire horde, really, isn't it? Durthu, I think what I'm going to do with you is send you north to go and recruit some dragons. And I'm going to leave. In fact, what I'm going to do is, is lure these agents away from me. So we can't assault units because we assassinated last turn, so just just come over here. Can I offer assistance? That will be fine. Now I'm hoping that Tyrion expands and we could give him more money to try and facilitate that. I am the defender of Ulfwan. Choose your words carefully. Have have up some money. Very well. Glad you glad you like that. Up to 133. That's perfect. Doden, you can come over here. And we've got research. I think we're going to go for, well, I mean, upkeep reduction for elf infantry would be nice. We've got plenty of amber as well, so let's get a father's protection. Kernos protects the, wood, the woods from all evil. Oh, that's nice. That's nice of him. And that should help with our upkeep. Should be good. Would like to upgrade the Oak of Ages. Because obviously that's going to increase our up, uh, reduce our upkeep again, which should be really nice, and also reduce the movement range in Atholoren, which is also very nice. Although it says in province, which assuming the world tree is its own province is a bit shit. Well, Dotum was wounded, but otherwise he's. Fine. Just just took a little blow to the head. Oh. Okay, well we failed the ambush, but we have managed to catch the Supreme Patriarch, Gavin. Von Van Von Vulcan Van. Van Vol Vulcan Van. Von Good. I mean he's he's a Supreme Patriarch, he's not actually a wizard. Not sure how that works, but who am I to judge Karl Franz's government? That's... There are worse governments to have. Trust me. Unfortunately, that's all the time we've got for this episode, so I'm going to have to leave it there. So thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.